To import DWG files and other resources as XREF, you can open the Import and Model Manager. At the Imported Files tab, click on the New button. This will open the Locate File dialog. By default, the file format DWG is selected. Use the drop down list if you would like to search for other file formats. Select the desired file and click on the Open button. The Insert File dialog provides several options for the placement of the DWG file. To edit the DWG file, click on the Open in New Window button. Now you can check and clean up the DWG file before importing it. When opening files in the DWG editor, the drawings are exploded into separate lines and blocks that can be individually deleted. You can make use of the different selection options in DDSCAD to quickly select and delete the required elements. With the Zoom All function, you will automatically zoom to the remaining drawing elements. Next, you should make sure that the drawing has an origo close to the zero coordinates. To do so, select the function Pick a new origo for the drawing. With a left mouse click, you can define a new origo, for example, in the lower left corner. After you have cleaned the DWG file, you can click on Apply DWG DXF Changes. Next, select one of the appropriate save options, for example, saving changes to a new DWG DXF file and insert that file directly into the model. In this case, you have to enter a new name for the newly generated DWG file. DDSCAT informs you that the DWG file has been changed. The next step is to verify the scaling of the XREF. To do so, select the function Measure Between Two Points in the toolbar. As you can see, the XREF is not correctly scaled. Select the Scale tab. Here you can indicate what the actual length of the measured distance should be, for example, 1 meter for a door. Next, click on the Set Scale button to apply the new scaling to the XREP. To further clean the XREP, you can make use of the Layer Wizard. Move the cursor over the layers and click left mouse button to hide them. You can use your right mouse button to unhide specific layers. The Layer Display function provides more options to handle the available layers. In the On column, you can turn layers on and off. A layer can also be set to freeze, lock or disable it for printing. Moreover, you can change the pen settings. In this example, we select all the layers. By clicking in the Pen Definition column, we open the Select Pen dialog. Here you can select another pen for the layers. Click on the Repaint button to make all changes visible in the XREF. If you like, you can save this layer setup for future use. Click on the Save button to save the changes. Now your XREF is ready to be used.